Halacha. Here is a brand new halacha for you, and it is for Sunday, the 22nd day of November. Here we go. In old-fashioned times, they didn't used to use salt shakers. What they had was a little tiny container that held some salt in it, and they would dip uh, into the salt, or they would reach with their whoops, sorry about that, or they would reach in with their fingers into the salt and just get some salt out and you know sprinkle it onto their food. And they certainly, in those kinds of situations, needed one separate salt dish for meat meals and one separate one for dairy deals meals because of, come on, you could see everybody was dipping right into it. Nowadays you have salt shakers, and the salt that's in the salt shaker is very much protected from the table, you know, because it's in the shaker thing. However, it's still a good commendable custom to have a separate salt shaker for meat meals and a separate one for dairy meals because um, stuff could happen. You know, you could inadvertently touch the top of the salt shaker to the meat or vice versa, and therefore it's a good idea to have separate salt shakers if possible. Uh, what about a kitchen scale where you weigh things on it? So the halacha is that you could use one scale for meat stuff and also for dairy stuff, but you shouldn't have the meat touch the scale and the dairy touch the scale exactly, that, that you know, all on the same surface. It would be good if the stuff was in plastic bags before it went onto the scale so that you wouldn't have that issue. Um, it's on to self-cleaning ovens. If you cooked meat in a self-cleaning oven, and so it's you know got splatters of meat and everything, and then it's uh, afterwards you did the self-cleaning cycle of the oven, and everything seems all clean and everything, and then it's totally okay to do a dairy cooking inside of that oven afterwards. If you have a serving tray that carries stuff to the table, if the serving tray is carrying par of foods, then you can use that serving tray to carry par of foods to a meat meal or to a dairy meal, and it wouldn't be a problem. But if you have meat that's being carried on a serving tray, and certainly splatters of meat could get on that serving tray. So to have that same serving tray serve meat and later have it serve some lasagna is a major problem because uh, then meat and milk are both touching that thing and uh, you're getting into a lot of trouble. So if you want to have meat directly on the serving tray or meat things very close to touching that serving tray, then have a meat serving tray and a dairy serving tray. So you'll be out of all kinds of trouble. This one will annoy some people, but it is written in halacha books as a good careful thing to do. When you're going shopping and you buy, let's say, a bunch of yogurts and you buy some meat in a meat package for your chalant, it's not a good idea at all to have them in the same package because yogurt sometimes drip a little bit or leak. Uh, the meat packing sometimes has some stuff on the outside of the saran wrap. And therefore, please, please, with those kinds of items, put them in separate shopping bags. It's definitely commendable to have different sponges to wash the dishes, a uh, sponge for your meat stuff and a sponge for your dairy stuff. I think we said that a few days ago. And it's a good idea to have them be separate colors just for safety's sake. If you scrubbed a meat pot with some steel wool, then do not use that steel wool later on a dairy pot. That's not good. Um, if you used a dairy strainer, then the stuff that gets strained through that dairy strainer, don't afterwards use it to strain meat items because strainers are very, very hard to clean. And as far as a sugar dish, it's good to have two separate sugar dishes, one that goes to the meat table and one that goes to the dairy table for the reasons we've been discussing. And if you have sugar shakers, if there is such a thing, also it would be a nice idea to have two separate ones just like you do for salt shakers, which is a commendable idea. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.